sure, sure. Man, I, I know you just got out of the studio tonight and yeah. you're here for a birthday celebration and we're the last media crew in the lineup. Yeah, no worries. So I'll try to keep it no short. No worries, man. It's all good. Um, first of all, I want to say congratulations. I got Thank a chance you. to see you tonight before I came out. I've been following you all throughout the series. Thank you very much. Actually, thank you're a great fan of mine as well. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate I it. I want to know how it is working with your partner. Great. Nicole is phenomenal, man. I, it's been amazing working with her. She's one of the most, above her dancing and above all that stuff, she's the most amazing person. And we get along so well. Like, we have the same sense of humor. We laugh. We make the same jokes, so it's just been. She's an she's a ball of energy, and she's so full of love, and she's just a she's a wonderful person. So that's been a real pleasure to work with her. Do you find out from dancing with Nicole that you have to raise your level of dance um, because of her ability? Um, I would say raise my raise it. I, you know, I, I hate. Um, you, but whenever I choreograph, you, you just you choreograph and you dance to whoever you're dancing with ability. So for like you know other dancers, you know I, you, have to, you don't want to like choreograph too hard for them. You want to keep it kind of on their level and what they can do and push them a little bit, but not too much. But definitely with Nicole, I've been able to kind of you know do things a little bit more difficult and take it a little bit further, which has been fantastic and so inspiring. And it's really allowed me to kind of you know let go a little bit. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, from the consumer side of you, it seems like you guys are really pushing the envelope. That's what I meant by like yeah, maybe yeah. pushing a little bit course, more. Yeah. Um, man, um, I guess the next question I have for you is, uh, first I want to say, I think you guys are <laughs> going to take that mirror ball, uh, uh, or you have a great percentage chance to do that. Well, we'll see, I mean, we'll see, I mean, you know, the, the uh, you know, all Olympians and athletes have always, you know, taken the trophy home when they've been in the final, so. Um, so based upon that, you know, you never know what happens. You know, Melvi, Maya, all those people have never won. So hopefully, you know, hopefully we can break that pattern. We'll see. We'll see what what happens. Man, we're rooting for you. We're in your corner for you. Um, qu another question that I'm kind of curious to know: When it comes to choreographing, is it all you choreographing, or does yeah. she help choreograph as well? Or um, not? It's it's pretty much all me. I choreograph everything. Um, she definitely has some input of. Uh, sometimes she'll put an idea forward and. And I'll be like, oh, that's a great idea. Let's let's, let's, let's like elaborate. Let's do it. But you know, I always have the overriding decision. And it was kind of funny with Nicole because she's always normally in the driver's seat. <laughs> but she's great. She's been extremely trusting, and she's always she's put all of her trust in me, which has definitely you know helped a lot. She's wonderful. I've always been curious to that. I'm a professional salsa dancer, and I competed a little bit, did a little bit of international. But I'm always amazed at how much information you guys put in, choreograph a routine, and turn it around in a week. Yeah, I it's mean, crazy. what are the real times and, and hours you spend in the studio? Oh, I mean, is it like Six. 10 hour days? Yeah, hour oh, days? oh, sometimes we've done. I've done 15 hour days in the past. You know, where like you know, because we don't just go in and dance and we're free. You know, we have to do this TV show or she has to be in the recording studio or we have this cover magazine that she has to do or there's so many other elements that people don't see that basically have to be in the schedule during a day so if we if I rehearse with Nicole for seven hours she goes straight to the recording studio and records for another eight you know what I mean like so it's like it's never ending you know and it's so much information I mean how is it I mean because I, from my genre dance and the genre dance that you do do you and you and you're teaching someone who is a non-dancer versus working with pros? Sure. Where do you find the time for cleaning, or do you just um, try to teach it as it goes yeah, that strict way? You know, you've actually you actually have to find you actually um, it's actually a technique. You know, people that come onto the show like as a professional go, oh yeah, you know, it actually is a technique you have to develop to turn around somebody so quick. Um, you know, and teach but them with dance. international and half the moves that you do with yeah. body control and movement, yeah, those are things that have been taught from like age yeah, eight yeah. up, and now you bring in someone who doesn't have that. I mean, yeah, it, it's it's right. very tough to teach them the technique and the routines and everything else on top of that. But you know, you, it, you have to find a technique of, of actually teaching that in itself. So it's difficult to do, but it's cool. It's fun. My hats off to you. Can we get a shout out for John Scudder sure. TV? For what's our John? John Scudder TV. Hey, I'm Derek Cuff, and you're watching John Scudder TV. Thanks, Thanks so much. Congratulations.